Swagman Software presents Importing Data from Excel into Sage Peachtree Accounting. Now let's start our demonstration by looking at a typical screen within Peachtree. Uh, what you'll see here is that uh, we're going to do the sales invoice import. So uh, let's just have a take a look at uh, the existing invoices that are in uh, Peachtree currently. You notice here you look at the date uh, from uh, May 1st to May 31st. Then we'll switch to uh, June 1st to June uh, 29th, uh, 2010. You'll notice that there's no invoices. Now uh, let's uh, invoke our program and um, this makes a connection into the Peachtree database. And uh, let's take a quick review of the uh, source file or the file that's going to be imported into Peachtree. You see all the essential ingredients like you know customer invoice number, customer code, uh, service items transactions with multi-line uh, transactions as well as uh, single line transactions uh, within our data file. And um, I believe we have a total of about uh, 67 altogether. Now Excel is just uh, one of many file imports that we can bring over into Peachtree. And uh, let's start off by uh, pointing to that uh, file. And uh, so we go through our browser and we pick that particular file that we were uh, using. Uh, just before I save it, I better close down the, uh, you know, the source file. And I'm going to click on uh, the save button to uh, save the destination. Uh, next, uh, let's take a look at some of the business rules that uh, are part of our program. Um, what we can do is we can set certain rules, such as you know um, uh, blocking uh, you know the creation of new customers, or for instance, uh, not allowing the import utility to update the existing customer or vendor information uh, within Peachtree. We also have to tell the program it's a multi-line flat file. Because uh, in our source file there we had uh, multiple detail lines uh, uh, for a couple invoices. And uh, this is the mapping portion of our program where it's kind of like the brains. Uh, we tell it's a comma separate limited file. There's one detail per line. And um, this is the mapping. So first we have to uh, map the header of the file. The header being you know invoice number, you know customer, transaction date. Um, and any uh, defaults that you want to set uh, for importing. Um, next, we take a look at the detail, and that's going to be things such as you know uh, line items, uh, descriptions, quantities, and prices. So the next step in our process is uh, once it's been mapped, it's a one-time uh, uh, transaction. Uh, what we do here is we just basically click on the import file. Now it always asks you to take a backup and as you can see now that the files are being imported. Uh, it's going through the transactions and as you can see here it, every type of transaction is uh, processed, it counts, and in the record it shows you the actual invoice that's being processed at the time. So you can see a little visual while things are happening. Um, as we said before we have a total of about 67 altogether and uh, things are being processed fairly quickly. So the importing is done. It shows that we processed 67 for a total of about $5,000 and you'll notice here on our exceptions report that it shows we created a new uh, customer called uh, Ace Heating. Okay, so we'll just purge the error log. And uh, let's take a look at uh, the end result that uh, takes place in Peachtree. Um, as you'll pay attention to the dates at the top, this is June 1st, and all the transactions we brought over all show up here. Um, now let's take a look at this one particular transaction and uh, what we're going to show you here is that uh, each one, of this is a multi-line import, that each one of the details have come over. So the descriptions are there, the prices, uh, tax been calculated and so on. For more information about Swagman software you can call us at one 877 7924626 or visit us at our website at www.swagsys.com